today I will be talking about contentment. To be content is to be at peace. It is an inner calmness that is not contingent on outside circumstances. It is inner quietness, inner tranquility, and inner joy. It does not mean everything is going right. No. Everything can be going wrong, yet we remain at peace. It does not mean we accept things as they are. No. On the contrary, we are aware of everything that is going on, but still choose to be thankful, as we trust God to intervene. There are so many things to be thankful for regardless of what our bodies are telling us or what people are saying or doing or what is happening in our surroundings or in the world at large. Worry steals our peace, it steals our joy and it is unhealthy for our bodies and minds. Why worry when we can pray? Worrying robs us of peace and changes nothing. We serve a living God. He is the God of the living. He does what he says he will do. He is the one in control. Knowing that then, we take everything to him. It is much easier that way. He knows. He is all-powerful. If we run on our own strength, we will grow weary and faint. That is why it is better to take everything to God. He loves us and listens to us. Everything we pray for in accordance with His will is given to us. What He gives is so much better than what we would have accomplished without Him. God's presence makes all things work out for good to those who love him. God's way is always the best. The Bible tells us to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things will be added unto us. At the end of everything, only things of God matter. Our life here is like a preparation ground, a choice ground. We should never place anything or anyone above God. Having a relationship with God makes us content in a way that nothing else in this world can. Life is more than food and body more than clothes. Birds of the air have everything they need. Won't God provide for us more than the birds? We should keep our lives free from the love of money. Only through God can we be content. Money does not fill us. Going to or, going to or living in certain places does not fill us. Marriage does not fill us. Pleasures do not fill us. In every one of us is a God-sized hole only God can fill. If we do not learn this truth, we will walk in this life disappointed and some will give up on the way. The Bible says that godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world and we will take nothing out of it. Only the treasures we build up in heaven will last. Only God fulfills the, the desires of our hearts. We are to pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness. We are told better a little with righteousness than great gain without justice. And it is better the poor whose walk is blameless than the rich whose ways are perverse. Be blessed.